What do we need? We need more jobs. 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 We want more jobs. We need jobs. Governor Scott's call for jobs drove a big tax break for big business. More jobs. Jobs. We want jobs. Jobs. But critics claim one big tax cut has not delivered one new job. The losers are the people of Florida. Former State Representative Rick Kreisman says we'll be giving big companies a bonus for doing what they're already doing. Taxpayers ought to be very upset about it. State lawmakers voted on a bill last year they had not fully read. I'd like to make sure that we know what's in the bill. I don't know the substance of this House bill. And they passed it in the middle of the night. We're here at 3.30 in the morning. They passed the single sales factor exemption. Now any Florida company that spends at least $250 million building stuff in Florida over two years can get a break. They still pay tax on sales, but don't have to pay a dime of state income tax on their property or payroll. And this will pay, pay great dividends for the people of Florida. But most companies can't qualify because they don't have $250 million to spend. So far, only five companies intend to pursue it. Let's start with Publix. It qualified by building new stores and facilities, but by email, a spokeswoman said it would have committed to those investments without the sales factor incentive. The tax break created no new jobs. The parent company of Florida Power and Light and Tico also qualified because they're doing hundreds of millions of dollars in maintenance. Are these all things you would be doing anyway? These are programs that are uh, part of our planned maintenance. Again, the tax break created no new jobs. Just down the road, Tampa Phosphate Company Mosaic qualified by building a new warehouse at the port and a golf resort in Polk County. We decided to build the resort in 2009. That's two years before the single sales factor incentive passed. And the warehouse? We were fully permitted for the construction in 2009. It's certainly possible that we would have moved forward with this project without it, um, but ultimately, as I said, it's a, there's a number of factors that come into play. So we cannot verify any new jobs here. Finally, CSX intends to apply for this cut. It sold a rail line to the state for $432 million and is using the money to fix up its property. They get paid too much, and then they're given, you know, it's like the icing on the cake, yet another tax break. The rail deal required CSX to upgrade. Once again, the big tax cut sold as a job booster would not boost jobs. So who are we really helping? Kreisman claims lawmakers are trying to help themselves by rewarding big donors. In the past two campaign cycles, those five companies each gave hundreds of thousands in political donations. And so how do you keep seats? You build your war chest up. But we could not tie the donations to this specific tax break. That can't be viewed as some sort of purchased policy. That is policy that the state makes to remain competitive.